Awesome. Hi, Judah. How are you? Good, good. I'm just chilling in the ocean, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's 11. You know. I was there. <laughs> <laughs> the sun's going down. I'm a little concerned. <laughs> <laughs> well, still a beautiful background. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Well, Judah, tell me, how excited are you for Bupkis to finally premiere? I mean, it's incredibly, it's incredibly exciting. It's like, it's amazing to work on something this intensely. And then, you know, it's like one of those things where you finish and then it just stops. But now this is the excitement of having people actually start to see this thing is really amazing. Yes, yes. So what exactly is Bupkis? Bupkis is a window into the fever dream and absurd life of Pete Davidson. That's how I would describe Bupkis. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you're asking me the title. What does the title Bupkis mean or what does the series more it, about the, the title. I was kind of going for what does the title mean? But what does the title mean? Okay, I can tell yeah. you, Bupkis is a is a Yiddish term that means nothing. Okay. Um, so it's like you know, typically, you know, Pete's actual grandfather is half Jewish and uses the term Bupkis, and though in a sentence, it would be like, "You don't know Bupkis. Don't worry about that stuff. It's Bupkis." Uh, you know, so it's a, it sort of means nothing or nonsense. But it was something that Pete suggested for the show, and it it weirdly just fit to us it, it, it we weren't sure if it was going to stick and everyone that heard the title really gravitated towards it. it it seems to be a word that makes people smile so well can you tell us how the concept and idea for the show came to fruition and why should we check it out you know uh we when we in when we initially started talking about doing a show together you know we realized i i got to know pete on the king of staten island and became friends with him and i think people that are around him in his orbit and close to him are pulled into the most ridiculously absurd situations regularly. So I think it was obvious to us when we were thinking about concepts for a show that like, there was no like concept that could rival his actual life in terms of comedy or, or opportunities to mine comedy and ridiculous situations. So it's like, we really didn't like spend any time exploring any other concepts than, than his real life. We knew we couldn't top anything than his actual life that seems to just like endlessly escalate and become more and more ridiculous as time goes on. Yes, yes. Well, I love that um, Edie Falco plays Pete's mother and Joe Pesci is Pete's grandfather. What made them perfect for those roles? I mean, they're just the, it's like the most uh, wish is is like a fever if it's contributing to the fever dream aspect of the show is getting these world class talents to sign on and be part of this show yeah. um you know this joe is the impossible actor to get uh i don't know how we did it joe and pete um you know naturally gravitate towards each other they really have a lot in common they formed an actual almost like grandfatherly type relationship and dynamic in making this show, which was really incredible and actually went beyond the, this what you see in the show itself. Um, but I think that contributed to to getting Joe. Um, Edie Falco is, you know, the greatest, one of the greatest actors of our time. And, you know, I think that for to have her embodying Pete's mom and this very unique relationship that Pete has with the Amy character is just like incredible. It, so every so many aspects of the casting of the show is a collection of Pete's like favorite things in the world all put together into into one show. And and you know Joe and and Pete is uh, Joe and and Ed Falco are absolutely like you know the ultimate wish fulfillment for us. Yeah, definitely. And you also have so many other big name uh, actors playing uh, roles in the show, like Kenan Thompson, Mach Machine Gun Kelly, Steve Buscemi, even Vice President Al Gore. Um, like, what was what was like what was it like on set? How was the atmosphere? Was it just like just like so magical? What all it was really all fun. I mean, I think we had a lot of fun making this show, and I feel like that joyfulness comes through in the end product. Um, mm -hmm. You know, it it felt. Uh, it's kind of surreal at times, honestly, to be on set and have Al Gore, yeah. you know, be a part of our comedy was just uh, incredible. Mm -hmm. Was there an episode that you enjoyed working on the most? I mean, it's hard to pick a favorite because they're all so different. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I really enjoyed episode six is one yeah. that was like, like stuck out to me as like a because it's such a it it's it's so um it, it there's such an isolation quality to that episode there's like a quirkiness that that you get from pete that comes through in that episode 
And and that like that one really stands out to me. Okay, awesome. Well, ultimately, what do you hope audiences take away from Bupkis? I I think that people are going to gain access into aspects of what it's like to be Pete, what it's like to be around Pete. And like more than anything, I just hope that people have a really good time and have a lot of fun. You know, we were setting out to do a show that was riotously funny, you know, really, really emotionally heartfelt and grounded. But more than anything, like we just wanted people to have a lot of fun watching this. And I hope that people people get that from this. For sure. Awesome. All right, Judah, well, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for talking with me. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Nice to meet you.